All right, so last week we did sketches and you painted your cardboard. So this week we're going to start by um, drawing your chosen sketch onto this tile and you are going to start sculpting it. So I'm gonna do this turtle and it's gonna be a little different when I sketch it because this was a square, but you wanna sketch lightly where you're gonna put things. So one turtle here, the baby turtle here, and the starfish here. All right, then you have your pack of model magic. If for some reason you didn't get this, um, you could also do this with Play-Doh, take a picture of it, but you won't be able to paint it, which is okay. Um, they're also in the on the front page, um, or if you need to, I can send you a video of how to make like salt dough at home. Um, but you're just gonna start sculpting these things. Model magic sticks. So for example, for my turtle, I'm gonna start with a ball of the model magic. And see, I'm just kind of ripping it off so I have more. And I'm going to take the ball and squish it down. And it's gonna stick to my board, okay? Everything you do, you don't wanna make it too skinny or it will crack. So I'm just gonna stick that down on my board. It is pretty thick, like nothing should be thinner than a coin. Um, then for my turtle, I'm gonna take a small ball. Everything starts with a kind of a ball. Swish it down. I call it, another way to describe it is cookie thickness. You want a thick cookie, you don't want a skinny cookie. And for my turtle, I'm gonna make some legs. So if I cut into fours, it kind of makes these nice triangles. And remember, your design does not have to be the same as mine, but if you want to use some of these tips and the tips um, from uh, my other video, that is the kind of the example one, you can do that. Maybe arrange it differently. And then the head, another ball, but smaller. There's my first turtle. I am going to give him a shell. So I am going to let, oops, my shell will be kind of skinny because I... I'm going to lay it flat on the thicker stuff. It might crack. We'll see. But the really skinny stuff like this might crack. But hopefully it doesn't because I'm kind of laying it on top like that. Uh-oh. That's okay. Cool. I'm going to do my little turtle next. So if you need to see that again, I'm about to do it again. And yours might change as you are working, which is okay. You might want to add things to it. You might want to take things away that don't quite fit. That's kind of up to you. As long as you're making it relief. Some things are sticking out and some things are flat. You see I have quite a bit left, which is good. And like I said, if you wanna see these again, there is a kind of how to make these a little slower video that I have. All right, I'm gonna make a starfish, which is a ball. I told you, most of the things start with a ball. Squish it down as a cookie. And then I'm gonna make five little slits. Don't go to the middle, just kind of like a flower. And I need to cut a little extra out of each slit. So that way it's a space. Ooh, it's already sticking together. Okay, good enough. Now let's squish those so that they're pointy. And there's my starfish. All right. Now, if you have things at home you can press things into, you can also like make texture. So like if you have, um, I don't think I have anything close to me right now, but like you can press things into your model magic. Um, so like if you want to take a fork and make like, I don't know, a fence or something with that, that'd be kind of cool or like make a basket or something like that. And you can do, you can use things to press into it. Um, 
like I love using the textures of like baskets and placemats for things. Um, for my ocean, my other one, I kind of did it flat. I think for this one though, I want to do kind of a, to look more decorative, kind of like how I drew swirly lines on that. I'm going to do kind of coils for my, <laughs> the, the surf part of my ocean, the foamy part. Even, uh, looks pretty cool. And maybe the rest of this, I'll do that fork technique I just showed you for like the ocean. So if you have extra model magic, of course you can make other things with it. This might end up cracking, we'll see. <laughs> um, but I'm not gonna add a lot of details to the turtles because I'm gonna, later on, I can use like Sharpie and paint to paint um, the details on. What if I did this? Very cool. All right, and then you just kind of let this dry and it will stick on and then we'll paint it next time. Like I said, you can do your designs as long as things are not too skinny. And um, yeah, some things pop out and then of course the sand doesn't pop out, but I'll paint that sand colored.